Howdy, howdy, how y'all doing? My name is Sark, and welcome back to Project Grove. We were... Finding... A way... Uh, ooh, space whale. Sky whale. Air whale. Whatever. <laughs> so cool. Uh... There was... There was, um... Up there that we needed to get to. And... There was also some ingredients that we needed to get. Because we had the, um, this thing. And then, apparently, we're supposed to get different, um, gather enough botanicals to brew a potion. So there's differences. And what I didn't realize when I first started playing is this is that there's a difference between the actual ingredients for the, uh... For the potions that we're supposed to be brewing. Words, I can't today. Um, but, uh, yeah, the potions that we're supposed to be brewing have specific ingredients. But most of the stuff that I'm gathering is just for the energy that we need. Like this stuff. Scan that. Scan complete. And you can also... I'll keep hold of this. <laughs> you can also tell him... To scan stuff, which I forgot you could do. They tell me these things, and then I just scan the deer. Complete. Slap. Uh. Hello. Are you a slap hind? Is that your name? <laughs> can you scan this statue? No? Okay. Wait, can you scan this statue? No. You just want to open your platform. The... Let me out the way before you open that thing. Yeah, that's one of the things that's a little bit frustrating about it, is the uh, scan button is the same as the button for Elpin to open his little umbrella thing. Yeah, you. <laughs> um, but we're supposed to be able, at this point in the game, I think, to find a few more ingredients that are not just... Um, the ether that we need to, uh, to power our little potion brewing thing up there. What that? But, I don't know where this other, um, more actual ingredients are supposed to be, so maybe we miss something up here? The winch is over its weight capacity. What are you suggesting? Ta-da! And they've done a few hot fixes um, since I started playing the first episode of this. I don't know what all they fixed, but there's that bird. It is awfully dark back here. Hey! Hey! Okay, so I can't climb in the windows. Sure is pretty, though. I'm not sure what's up with that skybox. With the line there. Alright, let's... Let's go in here. That's locked. It's brighter in here. That's, that's definitely different. Food provisions are awful. I wonder if I could brew a potion to sate my hunger. <laughs> Can I open any of these? This is really a lot nicer already. Like with the uh, the lighting, you can actually see. <laughs> so let's see what we can find out here. Oh, 
Okay, there's something in the water. Can I get more? There we go. Oh, what's this? It's a thing you found in the water, my dude. Eh. There we go. Let's down over here. Ooh, there's something over there. Is that something new? Uh. Ooh, oars. What this? Dispense new key. Pick up. Okay, scan that. I very much enjoyed this scan. Thank you. Very informative. It's a key, you say. That's a save point over there. What's this let me oh. okay oh okay so these are locks and those are keys is that what I'm getting from that all right oh shit what happened here Oh, here, let's this will come in let's have you scan that. Research codex updated. Jubblies? Ooh. Ooh. Jubblies are found in the wild only in Dacrima after a pathogen destroyed the stock native to the Empire. The cause of this pathogen is believed to be due to the overuse of jubbly implants, which became prolific in rural society as farmers' wives tried to outdo each other with the size of their jubblies. The inflated monstrosity is ultimately falling prone to some malady. Okay. And then I got a asphyxiatonia. A plant found underwater, the leaves constrict with an unnatural strength, much, much to the misfortune of many a scuba farmer. A tribe in southern Althuvi is said to grow a variant of Asphyxiatonia whose leave will wrap tightly around the neck and will choke a victim to death unless the leaves are doused with a special formula concocted only by the tribe. Intended to be marketed as a tool for would-be assassins, Asphyxiatonia proved far more popular as a marital aid. Right. Okay. There's remains here, and it doesn't look like he can scan that. Um, it looks like he can only scan stuff when the little option pops up. I would much prefer a dedicated button, but that works too, I guess. Alright. It looks like that's as far as I can go that way. I love that sound. Okay. So. Give me more of that cotton stuff. Marvelous. Marvelous. What do we have here? Okay, so there's another lock, it looks like. All the way up there. How do I get up there? These little geyser things look like I'm supposed to be able to float or fly or use them for something to get up there to launch me. But I don't know quite how. Try going over here. Oh, that's too far down. Here we go. 
There we go. Um, can you scan this? Oh, wait, you already scanned that. What's this? Okay, so it's all the way over there, and it's sideways. How am I supposed to get that? Maybe it goes up there? Or maybe it goes in... Oh, wait, that's where I picked it up from. Shit. Bye. <laughs> okay, so this thing. Oh shit. I did not mean to drop that. I meant to do that. Or the distance that L pin opens is very Haphazard. What was that, Edric? An old trick for shoring up malfunctioning glyphs. Babble and incantation. Try not to catch fire. There appears to be a second glyph powering this barrier. Okay. I didn't touch anything. He just did that. He didn't do that last time I was up here. Can you scan that? No. How do you probability that you again? will let me scan this sample unknown? Uh scan sample. I forget how you recall him. Well so scannable cool. object in proximity. Yeah. I Not that. There we go. Scan complete. It's a mithril. Okay. All right. It's too far. Way too far. Can I not get over there? Hey. There hey. we go. Hello? Uh, hold to direct Elpin more accurately. Okay. Scan that. Research codex updated. Okay, so... Oh, I get ya. I pick up what you're putting down. There we go. Alright. Very nice. Alright. Marvelous. Okay. So, I'm making some sort of progress here. Hi. Can I climb up on this? Can I reach that? There we go. Extraordinary. A natural alchemic barrier. This species has never exhibited such a capacity before. The records in the briefing do not detail it as glowing red. The influence of the rot, I suspect. A debilitating malady in men, it seems to be enhancing this flora magica. Okay. How will we gather a sample with this barrier in place? Perhaps we can root out the problem. Root out the problem. What was that sound? Is that the whale? Is that you making that noise? I need 12. Oh my god, that's so cool. Or is this making that noise? Alright. Spinar 
Spinacha. Spinacha. <laughs> All right, cool. I just randomly do magic. Save that. <laughs> Give me this mouse. Is there anything else up here? Some more for the stock. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's go back. Grab that. Sample retrieved. What is your plan, Edric? There's another flora sample back on the ship. I'm going to combine it with this one and test the resulting potion. Okay. So it's only the Flora Magica that count as ingredients for, um, save that again, as ingredients for the, uh, the potion brewing. That's what confused me before. Will-o'-wisps. Alright, let's, uh, inventory check that. Oh, I've got a bunch. Arius seed, a seed from an Arius flora magica. If placed in a terrarium, it can be grown into the plant and harvested for more ingredients. Okay, the seed emits a strange sound, like a faint voice carried far on the wind. Studies into this sound have proven difficult, as opening up the seed silences it. Cross sections of the seed reveal no discernible source of the sound. Cool. And then, Arius flower, the flower from the Arius flora magica. The strength of the alchemic energy radiating off of these samples is enough to suspend the individual stalks in the air while simultaneously holding them together with an invisible bond. The Arius flower is the symbol of the deadly dandies, <laughs> an assassination cult operating out of the Emerald Kingdoms. The alchemic bonds between stalks represent the bond the dandies have with their contract. Supposedly, a dandy can be called by blowing a dandelion and making a wish for murder. Bending this energy into a potion through alchemy is like is like to create potions concerned with warping the effect of weight and matter. Interesting. Alright. Save that again. Alright, now, how did I... Okay. Hey, you. Ooh. Down here. What's over here? Hi. Hi. Hoop. Uh, more cotton. What's this? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Elkin, a great deal of this jumping could be avoided if you could fly us where we need to go. That's true. Regrettably, Edric, hard-coded health and safety regulations prevent this. Uh -huh. I'm too heavy to move. Platform? Too old. Ah, cheeky bugger. Come on, <laughs> then. This old man could do with some exercise. <laughs> Did voice just change for a second there? Is that unlocked? Something. All right. What this? Whoa. Okay. All right. That was interesting. And go through here. Oh shit! Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. Load less safe. <laughs> Most curious. Sometimes I get the feeling we've done all this before. I uh, well, yeah. Actually, Edric, in a previous playthrough. Most curious indeed. All right. So how do we get down? Down here. Aha. Alright. Ow. <laughs> hey. hey. Those things. Alright, so now I have some more ingredients. 
engines making a little bit more sense. Every single time. <laughs> Ta da! Okay. Ah, let's grab those Flora Magica ingredients. I don't know how much of this I need. This will come in handy. There we go. Alright. Now, let's see if we can do this. Ingredients. So we have the liquium fruit and the Arius flower. Since Are those are the only... To I'll need to transmute some ether to act as a reagent for these ingredients. Okay. I, I did, but... Oh, yeah. I keep... How do you stop doing that? Let Go over there. Alright. I really need to remember what the cancel button was for him. Is it Q? Okay. All right. E transmute either. Let's transmute those. So those power it, but it needs special ingredients to do that. Now we can brew this. Uh, pick an either color to act as a reagent. I only have the one. Green either. Press the brew potion. Or button. Cool. That's fucking neat. Whoa! Bubbles! Ta-da! Sweet! What this? Eureka! A potion! Smells lovely, too. Will this cure the rot? That remains to be seen. My plan is to see how this potion reacts against rot-fused parts of the forest. Okay. You mean the red spiky things? Indeed, Elpin. Like those geezers we passed earlier. Yes, this expedition just got a whole lot steamier. Edward, we should notify Potentium of the distillation of this potion. Now, I had a seed. Can I put the seed in one of these? Oh, question mark? These sleeping provisions are hardly luxurious. Potentium guidelines specify investment in luxury goods is to be avoided on long-range expeditions. Hmm. There's no better investment than a good night's sleep, Elpin. Not that you'd know. Hmm. What does, hmm, hum, mean, Edric? It means I've had an idea. What information do Potentium have about soft-feathered birds in the area? Only records of fecal deposits. Several are nearby. Time to follow our noses then, LP. Okay. Will do. Is there anything else I needed to do? How'd you get over there? Alright. Give me that. This is Professor Edric Tate, reporting in. Mr. Tate, what a pleasure it is to speak to you again. Quite the start you're off to. That bubblate potion sounds very, hum, potent. How is it handling? Remarkably stable. Packs a pop, smells like April the 25th. <laughs> but I'll need more time to test it against rot-fused elements in the forest. Rather, specific. Well, we're just bursting to see more data from it. We've begun building a codex of everything we find. When we have sufficient data, 
we'll send it over. Hmm, yes, well, that does sound useful Mr. Tate but do remember our focus is on the potions, by which of course I mean a cure. Don't let yourself become distracted you naughty boy. Ciao ciao. 64 years old, and I'm a naughty boy. Is that what you meant by steamier, Edric? <laughs> I shall bloom in hope not. Ciao ciao. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so I think that's everything that I can do up here, unless I can open this door now. Locked. Nope. Alright. Oh, now this is open. Oh, this is so cool. I would so die if I jumped from here. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, it has a ship's wheel. This is the cutest fucking game. Oh my god. Can I fly this thing? Can I fucking fly this thing? Oh my god, that would be so fucking cool. Oh. Super fucking dark in here. Corn. Are these for my eating? <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. There's that whale. So cool. Can I ride the whale? <laughs> Alright, let's go back down. Can I... I still can't put it in there. Alright. So we've done everything that we can in here. Let's save that. Alright, go down. Investigate bird deposits. This one over here. Oh, let's let's use Elpin. Let me out the way before you open that place. There we go. Hey! Blast it! No feathers here. No signs of a nest. Let's keep looking. Okay. Hey! Wait. Use bubble eight potion to rise g ride geysers. <gasps> so cool. Ow. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that feather fall is essentially what it does. Alright. There we go. Alright. There we go. Alright, that's gonna take some getting used to. Some oh, more. Crap. Affirmative. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <laughs> okay. Ow. Oh, crap. Affirmative. Let's keep looking. Where am I going from here? Oh, dear. <laughs> the sound of Edric's broken ankles echoes through the forest with none to hear it. Okay. There we go. Well, that certainly does take a while, doesn't it? There we go. Alright. I think, however, that my death should be a good, uh, closing point for this particular, uh, 
episode. We will go in search again of this. Here, let's save that. There we go. We will go in search of these bird feathers in the next episode. So thank you, Conley, for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.